Oh. More skeletons on Red Mage and Headshot. They're punks. Too easy. Emo punks, they probably listen to Hollywood Undead. Hey man, there's a couple of Hollywood Undead songs. I actually that really I like. like Hollywood Undead. <laughs> <laughs> Everywhere I go, bitches always know. Well, and it's like the first song that I heard was uh I can't remember what it's called, but it's the one that they open up using... Uh, I can't believe I'm blanking on this. You got um, blunked. Yeah. I think it's... Is it Crazy Train? I don't know. I don't like them enough that well. I mean... Like, they, they open up the song with, like, the riff from Crazy Train. And it's it's pretty badass. da na 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 Military gloves. Ooh. Going to the dressing room. It's, 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 it's. Look, your pajamas. Military suit. Pansy suit. Practical pajamas. prince. Dude, I'm wearing pajamas. Screw that. Dude, look how they spell pajama. It's with a Y. P pajama? Almost sounds like a Japanese. I'm going word. around beating people to death. Pajama. I don't even care. Like some really high-end, preppy brand name. Pajama. If you don't wear pajama, you aren't shit. I wonder if I can like drop that hole and just like take a crap on people after I beat them. <laughs> I'm gonna fight you guys. I ain't scared. There, there's another chest yeah. over there. How do you guys feel? You guys are getting one shot by a dude in pajamas. It's like I woke up out of bed gang banging on bacon. Gang banging on bacon? Yep. It's a Cat Williams reference. <laughs> bacon is pretty fantastic. Exactly. You never gang bang on bacon, man. Come on. I used to my brothers grew bacon. I want to grow bacon. They raised bacon. And it's some of the best bacon because you raise it with love and you know exactly what their diet is. And if you read to them, it makes the bacon taste even better. Do you realize how sadistic that sounds? Well, my mother. Do you read to them? My mom would read to them. Raise them with yeah, love. My, my older brother. Slaughter and eat them. My older brother never wanted to name the pigs. Uh, I think the first year he had them, they were bacon, pork chop, and uh, ham. Man. But, you know, they're when you're raising them for an extended period of time, it's like having pets. Yeah. And, you know, it, it gets to that point where it's like, I have to leave right now because today is slaughter day. That's how I felt. So when I was, like, six years old, my mom was dating this guy for like 10 years and his family owned a lobster tank and one of their friends would go go fishing and stuff oh, and they'd bring back live lobster well we made the, or she made the mistake rather of telling me that you know these were pets so we all named them all three of us kids and stuff we named them and mine mine's name was spike and i loved that thing i thought it was awesome then later on that night I watched him get put into a freaking stew, and I heard him <laughs> screaming. All right, that. Well, you know, you know, they're not really screaming. No, they were. He was screaming. It was. It's it was terrible. It's a life-changing experience. All right, pre press and hold B. Yes. And then oh. throw it at the door. This door is lame. Fuck that door. I don't like this door. Make me charge and aim my spell. Well, I mean, don't you... Masturbation joke. <laughs> That's why I have a girlfriend. Because if you can't find somebody else to do it for you, don't do it at all. Said no man ever. <laughs> Said one man, priest. but he was quite wrong. Yes. If it bleeds, we can kill it. 
Anyone else? Dude, I look like a badass just walking around in You're, pajamas with a big ass. You almost hammer. look like some like Legend of Zelda reject, like a <laughs> character that they wanted to use but they didn't think it would go over well. Which come on, dog. You know this character would still be a hell of a lot better. Excuse me, a hell of a lot better than Tangle ever was. More money. I had a really weird circumstance. Uh, many, many years ago, Nintendo had an online forum that I was a member of. And I was a part of a group that made web comics. Now, I'm not an artist, so my comics weren't as beautiful as some of the other ones, but they were definitely just as funny. Um. But in one of the comics, Tingle stole my wallet. And, like, later that day, I lost my wallet. And it wasn't Fucking until Tingle. I made a resolution. Like, I had to write a new comic where I beat the shit out of Tingle and got my wallet back before I could find my wallet. <laughs> like, I found it five minutes later. It was the weirdest thing. Tingle stole it. Tingle did steal it, and then I had to beat the shit out of him. Do you need to take out some some bent up aggression? I might. Man, come on! I want to get to something stronger than these guys. This is this is easy. Yeah. Oh, I oh! You hit me! You hit it, me! You want to it, fight? It's eventually coming. Want to fight? Huh? Huh? That's what I thought. Oh, I'm burning you too. What, now I have that song stuck in my head. Which song? Everywhere I go, bitches always know something, something's got a weenie that he loves to show. Gross. <laughs> no one wants to see your weenie. Not unless I'm drunk. Not even. Hold and push X. Yeah, that's not gonna help you. Look, yeah. at, look at what that is. It looks like. Why? A reticle. I'm a ballerina. I'm a ballerina. So yeah, you gotta return to the sanctuary and they will give you a new gift. And it's gonna be a gun. Spoiler alert. The Dildo Hammer! There it is. You know, I wish that it could be a joke that the dildo isn't a weapon. But in Saints Row, it very much is. Oh yeah, man. Same in Grand Theft Auto, except all you gotta do to get that one is go into the police station, and it's in the shower. What does that say about the police in Grand Theft Auto? <laughs> like, is it, is it a specific... Point. Is it a specific shower? Yeah. Or is it just like an open shower? No, it's, it's an open shower. Like men, women? Uh, no, I'm pretty sure it's like, well, I don't know if it's unisex or not. I mean, the dildo could belong to anybody. But yeah, it's a giant purple dildo, and you just get to go around and use it as a melee weapon and beat people to death with a dildo. Like, what a terrible way to die. You'd just be laying on the ground, getting beaten to death, and the last thought you would have was, wow, there wasn't even loot. <laughs> Although, I could imagine it being worse. Like, it'd be one thing if it were just a dildo, but it could be like one of them really weird dildos. What if it was vibrating? Well, then it'd be massaging your wounds as you receive them. You masochist. And be like, I'm not sure whether to scream or say it feels good. Pineapples! Pineapples! And we will have to continue the <laughs> dildo conversation next time on Red Mage and Headshot. Serious conversation. I don't want to talk about dildos. What about massages? Massages are nice. Mm -hmm.